Okay, so as we were saying, you find the dartboard and you break it down, okay? So, uh, this is the first thing I want you to do later as you go through the EGA paper, okay? This is first, first skill. The second skill, let me call this skill A, huh? The second one is when you come to 8 and 10 mark questions, which are discussed in nature, all right? 8 and 10 marks is always discussed. Why? Because you know there's going to be some, some credit for evaluation, okay? <clears throat> so for discuss type questions, we are always going to work backwards, okay? Everything is about working backwards. You look at the question, you ask yourself, okay? How do you get, actually the highest in the case study is level 2, all right? But let's use the language level 3 because it doesn't make a difference. Huh? How do you get maximum marks? In terms of, if it's 7, how do you get 7 out of 7? Of course, you don't actually reach 7 unless you're talking about certain schools media. But it is always a sum of 3 parts. Okay? Your answer needs to have balance. Okay? So you need 2 sides. Your answer needs to have content. When I say content, let me make this a little bit more... Uh, executable try to find a framework okay and when I say framework you have been through a great deal of frameworks okay we had demand and supply frameworks you had cost and revenue frameworks you have AD and AS frameworks okay <clears throat> and of course market failure frameworks they are out there also okay usually frameworks come with diagrams and it is also in the case that when you're doing a case study, all right, diagrams, usually you just need one to anchor your answer. And I would even say, if you're rushing for time, drop the diagram. The diagram is the first thing to drop, okay? It's like if there's a fire in the house, ah, the, the phone is the first thing to drop, okay? So likewise, when it comes to case studies, diagrams may not be so critical, okay? If you can draw one, it makes your answer complete. But if you're rushing for time, never mind. Okay, then context is really what you get from the extract. Okay, so later I'd like you to use this to piece together your answers. Okay, there are four of them. Okay, eight and ten mark questions. There's two per case study, so all together there are four in the handouts. Okay, and then of course we have talked about this. You need evaluation. Evaluation to get you the remaining two marks or three marks. And evaluation for case studies work on the synthesis. Okay? And when I say work on the synthesis, okay, these are the three ways to slice and dice up a synthesis. You first consider significance. Okay? Something that you have mentioned, which one is the most important? Which is the most sustainable? Don't shy away from this. That's your conclusion. No sitting on the fence, you can't say everything is important, everything has pros and cons, you cannot. In your synthesis, you need to nail down something. Okay? If it helps, you can look at long run and short run analysis. Okay, what happens in the short run, what happens in the long run? Okay? Then we end off by saying a combination of things need to be considered. Okay? Maybe a combination of factors, a combination of policies need to be considered. So, there are three things that are suggested ways to come up with your synthesis. You can just make use of one or two of them. I'm not saying all three have to come in. Okay? When we talk about case studies, these are the skills, okay, that you need. Dartboard, break the dartboard down, okay? And I said before, breaking the dartboard down, you should maintain a list, okay, of all the different dartboards you have come across and how to break them down. Was it three lessons back? We started on that list. So I hope you're maintaining it. Okay? If you lost yours, then you just find a friend and borrow it from them. Okay? Any questions? So this is how we are going to proceed. Uh, when you get hold of the case study, so imagine if you are sitting for your prelims, okay? They pass it around and say, uh, okay, you can start. There's always a tendency to want to flip and start reading the subject matter, right? Then read extract one, extract two, and so on. Now resist the urge. 
because the moment you read the extract, your thinking is not so sharp anymore. All right? Your ability to dissect questions, to find these things and break them down, that ability is doubt. Okay? So what I want you to do is to do what I would suggest you do. Now, flip to the question page, start doing your analysis on both case studies. Okay? Don't look at the extract at all. If it's trend description, never mind, let it go. Okay? So just focus on breaking down dart bots, if you can find them, and crafting an answer structure for the high weightage ones. Then I'll go through with you, okay? Uh, you have two case studies. Let's take, this is all you will be given, 25 minutes. The rest of the lesson will be discussion, okay? So 25 minutes to get started. Any questions? Okay, if you see anything you don't understand, you can check with me, right? Meanwhile, I'll come around, I'll come around to give you your, some of you have passed me your script, your homework, okay? I'll give them back. Right.